As an organization, the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association has been tasked with selecting the best of the best for over nearly three decades. The Division I All-American is a very prestigious honor. Now, the latest listing of 2016 award winners will find their names etched alongside the past legends of the game. With every pitch and every at-bat, the 2016 campaign has delivered many historic and memorable moments. Over the past four months, the ever-growing popularity of collegiate softball, with the media attention it has garnered, has kept fans on the edge of their seats. As we reflect on another record-breaking season that will come to a close at the annual Women's College World Series, let's take a few minutes to spotlight some of the outstanding student-athletes that made it possible. The NFCA Division I All-Americans. 18 players were selected to the NFCA All-American second team, and we start with Florida Atlantic junior hurler Kylie Hansen. Hansen owns an NCAA best, 0.76 ERA, and 15 shutouts with a 28 and 5 mark in the circle. She has struck out 300 batters, which is good for fifth in Division I softball, and has held her opponents to a minute 138 batting average. Named Conference USA's Pitcher of the Year, she was a top 10 finalist for USA Softball Collegiate Player of the Year. Hansen was instrumental in FAU being one of two Division I programs to win 50 games during the regular season. Coming in next as second team pitcher is Alex Stewart of Louisiana Lafayette. Stewart emerged as the lead pitcher on the Ragin Cajun staff, leading the way with 29 wins, which ranks fifth in the NCAA. Her 16-1 mark in Sunbelt Conference play helped guide Louisiana Lafayette to a conference championship in Sunbelt Pitcher of the Year honors. Michigan's Megan Betza. Ranking in the top eight in three NCAA categories, Betza has averaged 10.8 strikeouts per seven innings, second best in the NCAA. The Big Ten Pitcher of the Year is sixth in the NCAA with 287 strikeouts and tied for eighth with 27 victories and has helped the Wolverines reach the Women's College World Series for the second consecutive season. Your second team catcher is Erica Piancastelli out of McNeese State. Now a two-time All-American, Piancastelli was selected Southland Conference Player of the Year for the second straight season and keyed the Cowgirls to their first postseason appearance since 2010. Just a sophomore, she is McNeese's all-time home run leader, thanks to 21 this season. One of the top sluggers in Division I, she ranks second in the NCAA, with a 1,000 slugging percentage, third in home runs, and fourth in home runs per game, while drawing the most walks entering the final week of the postseason with 69. Atlantic Coast Conference Player of the Year, Alex Powers of Florida State, comes in as the second team selection at first base. Selected to the ACC's first team, Powers ranks in the top 10 in the ACC in 10 different categories, including batting average, runs scored, slugging percentage, and home runs. Her team best 383 batting average, 14 home runs, and 49 RBI helped the Seminoles return to the Women's College World Series for the second time in three seasons. Three-time All-American Emily Carasoni of Auburn anchors second base on this squad. A first-time All-SEC honoree, she is second on the team with a 405 batting average, while generating 70 hits, 12 doubles, 12 home runs, 9 RBI, and a team-high 70 runs. Also a strong defensive player, Carasone has made just 7 miscues at the second base for a 971 fielding percentage. Coming in as the second team third baseman is UCLA senior Misha Sadaraka. The first time All-American leads the Bruins with a 759 slugging percentage, 563 on-base percentage, and 59 walks, which is fourth best in the NCAA. Earning her third straight first team All-Pac-12 honor, Sadaraka ranks high among lead players in walks, RBI, and slugging. UCLA's Delaney Spalding is the second team shortstop. Spalding is garnering her second straight second team All-American honor, topping the squad with 17 home runs, 61 RBI, and 17 multiple RBI contests. The three-time All-Pac-12 selection also hits 345 with nine doubles and 50 runs scored and helped the Bruins return to the Women's College World Series for the second straight season. Louisiana Lafayette's Aaliyah Creighton is our first second team outfielder. The Sun Belt Conference Tournament's most outstanding player has seen over 50% of her hits go for extra bases, resulting in career-best 851 slugging percentage. She has also set personal bests with 12 doubles, 18 home runs, and 56 RBI, while garnering first-team Sunbelt recognition. Erin Miller earns her first All-American honor as a senior outfielder for Oklahoma. Enjoying a stellar final season, Miller, the co-Big 12 Player of the Year, leads the Sooner squad with a .400 batting average, the NCAA's third most doubles, 22, 78 hits, and .682 slugging percentage. Rounding out the crop of second-team outfielders is Texas's Lindsey Stevens. 
Now a two-time All-American, Stevens returns to the squad after a standout senior season. The speedy center fielder posted career highs with a 407 batting average, 20 doubles, and an 832 slugging percentage. Leading the Longhorns and ranking among the best in the Big 12 in every offensive category, the all-conference first teamer launched 15 home runs to go along with three triples, 46 RBI, 55 runs, 17 stolen bases, and a perfect fielding percentage and 85 chances. University of South Florida two-way standout Erica Nunn garnered the second team utility pitcher award. Selected American Athletic Conference Pitcher of the Year, the senior Southpaw concluded her final year with a 27 and 12 record, 223 strikeouts, and a career best 1.71 ERA. She tossed five shutouts, held opponents to a 206 average, and reported five saves. Offensively, Nunn provided punch to the Bulls lineup, hitting 374 with 10 doubles, 30 RBI, and a 444 on base percentage. This year's second team designated player and utility non pitcher selection is Florida's Kaylee Cavistad. On the field this season, the Gators designated player ranked among the SEC leaders with a 386 batting average, 637 slugging percentage, 60 RBI, and 500 on base percentage. In addition, she earned recognition for her work in the classroom, being named a COSIDA Academic All American. Turning to the second team at largest, the Alabama hurler Sydney Littlejohn garners her first All American selection as a junior. A top 25 USA Collegiate Softball Player of the Year finalist, Little John has earned first team NFCA All South Region and second team All SEC honors. She also was named Louisville Slugger NFCA National Pitcher of the Week and ESPNW Player of the Week in April. She posted a 23 and 6 record with a 2.27 ERA, with 12 of those victories coming in SEC play. Grabbing an at-large selection at shortstop is University of Oregon junior Nikki Udria. In helping her squad to the Super Regionals, Udria is one of the top offensive players in the Pac-12. She ranks third with 17 home runs and also owns a team-best 70 hits, 55 RBI, 56 runs, and a 769 slugging percentage. The first team NFCA All-Region and All-Conference selection also has eight doubles, nine stolen bases, and a 467 on-base percentage. Our first freshman on the board is Oklahoma's Shay Knighton, younger sister of the first team All-American MJ. A versatile player, Knighton earned the distinction as an at-large at the designated player utility non-pitcher slot. The Big 12 Freshman of the Year and top three finalist for the Shut Sports NFCA Freshman of the Year leads the Sooners with 11 home runs and 52 runs batted in and ranks second in batting average, runs scored, slugging percentage, and total bases. Second team at-large first baseman from Alabama, Leona Lafaele. An NFCA first team region and second team All-SEC selection, the senior is batting 354 with a squad best 15 home runs and 61 RBI. She has added nine doubles, 41 runs, and a 689 slugging percentage to earn her first All-American nod. One of the nation's top sluggers rounds out the second team at-large, Washington shortstop Ali Aguilar. The junior leads the Pac-12 in most defensive categories and ranks in the NCAA's top 10 in home runs, home runs per game, RBI, and RBI per game. The Pac-12 first team selection hit 365 with 15 doubles, 21 home runs, 70 RBI, and an 824 slugging percentage. Congratulations to all the 2016 National Fast Pitch Coaches Association second team All-Americans.